Good morning, everyone. Butler's Butler hey. Family Farm coming at you from Jolly Mills Park. Right. It is a um, fall event, and it's only taken us um, 18 years to get here. So Jerry's Bee Club is here, which um, we'll stop and see. But they also have um, what do they call it? A a sawmill. A sawmill. Saw yeah, they're going to be grinding uh, corn. Corn. They have a and they meal. have uh, they have a hit and miss that's to make an ice cream today. Yep. So. And there's a steam engine getting ready to do something. So we're going to take you on a fun, fun afternoon with us.
little scenic. We're walking over to the um, vendors area. Check out the uh, antique tractor. Jerry, what is the is this Shoal oh, Creek? Yeah. No, it's, uh, oh, yeah. the, it's a pond. Yeah, I have to remember, it's a, it's a creek. There's other creeks. That's not a pond. It's a creek. There's all the way down. Okay. Oh, okay. No, Jerry found out this is Caps Creek. Um, it runs, it has its own pathway, and um, this uh, memorial seat here is on a couple. I don't know if you can see it all well, but it's on a couple that were very uh, involved in Pier City, which is. Uh, close to the Jolly Mill Park. You can see that there's a break in that wall there and then there's a little bit of uh, overflow as it creeps down here. But when you look down here, the water is circulating or being blown actually because the winds are picking up. We're getting what I call today, we're getting Santa Ana winds from California. It's supposed to be hot winds. It could be a uh, what do you call it? Fire danger. We've had all that on our meteorologist report. But anyway, just kind of meandering around. See what other boosts and stuff is going on down here. It's actually kind of nice. <laughs> So wood carving is those? Wood one. They're using a uh, drawing art. This is kind of an open front. Yeah, this is, this is like a table read. Okay. I'm still laughing. 
And then our water level is so low that the water can't even go over and make a waterfall. Yep. That's a little fry. This is the, the, the dam, but you can see the water just sitting there. Where did you see fish? Right here, straight down. I, ca I can't. I can't. No, don't tip it. Don't, don't lose no, the I camera. No, I can't go down. No. You want to do it? No. Don't even worry about it. Okay. Or you lose your camera, we'll pull back for you lose it all. We are now going inside. I have to uh, kind of tip the camera in a sense to uh, lots of cedar in order to get, um, you know that the button's on for sure because I'm using my camera as my uh, LCD lens and so both hands are busy. And just awesome parts of this sawmill. This right here is the uh, corn sheller, and it's got fire, so I'm trying not to uh, you know, focus in on that. There's still the parts that have been found in the land. Sawblade that's got a painting on it now of the sawmill itself, the building. Okay. There, there's uh, let's say five, four or five hit and miss out here. The hit and miss is uh, uh, they fire ever so often to uh, keep the momentum of the sawblade going. So that's what, that, that's what it means by like hit and miss if you haven't seen it So they're water cooled, there's water in the top reservoir up here. That we think that it's to keep it going. It only fires every so often. You hear that popping noise. That's it. That's it. Fire firing to keep the momentum of the firewood going. And one of these hit and miss engines is uh, making ice cream. It's not one of these guys here. This doesn't do demo. But there's one over there on the other uh, other side of this dude. Yeah, that's probably one of the best ones. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, actually one of the yeah. Okay. Hey, this one right here is actually running the pump over there. And so it's on the belt and it's running the pump. That's not hitting this one. It's this one right here, this one right there. And it's actually three running. And one sitting here not running. So this one with the belt is running and it's doing a little bit of water demo in there. Yeah, it's it's with pumping the water from out of the, out of the bucket back into right. the bucket. And this one's running a pump over there. there. You yeah. can see it's going up and down like an oil towel, oil rig. Yep. I'm right and here. The water underneath it is pumping through. It's recycling it through. That one over there is when it's popping in the loudest. Why, why it's popping so loud, I'm not sure. Gary's always been fascinated with these, and you know, it's on his bucket it's list. It's on his bucket list. It's all here to be surfacing. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. 
course for the ice cream. Done for the day? Yeah, they're done for now. Oh. Jerry's beekeeper clubs booth out okay. here. It's uh, want to get cleared in? South Coast Missouri Beekeepers uh, of Neosha. Answer the and, membership uh, question. The there's Jess, his stuff. mentor. I don't clear people in that don't do that. Okay. And if they're not willing to read the beginning stuff, why would waste the time? Yeah. Yeah. This is a display. Yeah. 
it saves all the spay in the box. Yeah, they are. I've, I've had to do they, do a, they do a pretty good uh, dis educational display. You want to draw honey? And I don't trust do I want that one? regularly. Uh, no, we're good. I still have what? This is from our place. Oh, is it? Uh, are you sure? Yeah, you blended. This is the uh, old time car display they have. Not sure how the cars got here because we just walked across a narrow bridge. All bright and shiny. That's a 1926 Model T. There's the crank to get it started. Pardon? How'd you guys get across the way over here? Uh, creek. You drove in the creek? Yeah, things are perfect for it. Yeah, yeah, awesome. The original ATV. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's getting an attitude adjustment. Lee said earlier, Robert said earlier, when we were looking at the seats in the museum, you know, can you imagine sitting on one of those metal seats for, you know, 10, 12 hours? And I said, oh, I'm sure there was some kind of pad, but you know what? They may have just sat on them just like that. I'm not really sure. Oh, we think right here is where all the cars drove across the creek to get over here on this side for this wonderful display. Our tractor would go right here. In age? Yeah, well, and size-wise. Size-wise, yeah. Watch out for the forks. Yeah. They're short. My yeah, so the trees all have wire around them to keep people from messing with them or the squirrels from crawling up or something, not sure, but that's our, that's our old time. This is the end product from the uh, mill grinding up the corn. We got two samples of it, and it's pretty fine. Um, so probably some uh, cornbread on the on the horizon. Thanks everybody for joining us on this video. Uh, we had a really great time. We were there for about four hours, and it was a lovely day. And we will be going back again. So. Butler Family Farm says thanks, have a great day, next video.